All right, thanks for watching. And today I would like to give you an example of an inductive construction of a subsequence, which is a very important method in analysis that we'll see over and over again. So consider the following sequence, which may or may not be familiar to you from previous courses. So it has to do with rows. So in the first row, let's put all the integers. 0, 1, 2, etc., etc., but also minus 1, minus 2, dot, dot, dot. In the second row, we'll put all the fractions with denominator 1, with denominator 2. So 0, 1 half, 2 halves, 3 halves, dot, 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 but also minus 1 half, minus 2 halves, minus 3 halves, etc etc and then as in the third row you put all the thirds so one third two thirds three thirds and but also minus one third minus two thirds etc etc and then consider the following sequence so you start at zero so r1 is zero and then you go to one so r2 is one and then you go down um, um, R3 is one half, and then you go to zero, then to minus one half, then to one, then to minus two, then to minus two halves, then to minus two thirds, minus one third, zero. And you just snake around like this. Okay. So it goes like that, and then this, 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 etc., etc. and then you go up and then you just continue the same way just snaking around looping around like that and by the way as I said this may be familiar to you because that was the sequence used to show that the rational numbers are countable and in fact there's a video on this as well that have done a, a, a long time ago actually and and so one thing to understand you should convince yourself that really all the ra this train, Rn, really goes through all the rational numbers. In other words, for every rational number, it is of the form R something uh, for some value of n. So, note. This sequence Rn. goes through all the rational numbers. All of Q. In other words, again, every rational number is of the form Rn for some n. But again, that's not why we're here today. Um, today we want to talk again about this inductive construction of subsequences. And in fact, let me tell you a, a fact that's Unbelievable, but unbelievably true. So here's the fact. Not only does this sequence go through all the rational numbers, but if you add limits to it, it actually goes through all the real numbers. So here's the fact. So if A is any real number, then if you take an express train, so if you take a subsequence in the limit, you can eventually attain A. Then uh, there is a subsequence R and K of R n such that the limit as k goes to infinity of r and k equals a. Let me tell you why this is so amazing. Because the sequence rn is pretty wild. It's completely chaotic. And in fact, again, it goes through all the rational numbers. Right? Kind of like this. Ooh, it doesn't converge at all. It's one of the craziest sequences that you'll see. So this is Rn, but even though this is completely chaotic, there's actually an order to this chaos. Because if I give you any real number, 
So not only rational number, if I can give you any real number A, there is some subsequence of this Rn that actually converges to A. So again, even though this is chaotic, this is, uh, there is order in this chaos. And by the way, this really has to do with the fact that the rational numbers are dense in the real numbers because, so in other words, it makes sense because it is dense, okay? Because all this is saying is, if I give you any real number A, because there's so many rational numbers around it, you can actually find a subsequence that converges to A. But if the rational numbers were not dense, it would mean that there is some real number that you cannot approximate with rational numbers, and for this real number, there's no way to get an express train going to the number A. So there's no subsequence that actually converges to A. But again, luckily, this doesn't happen. We are in the first case. And again, this is not the point of this video. The point of the video is really the methodology in particular. Let's see how we can construct this subsequence. And what we want to do is what's called an inductive construction, which is almost like induction in the sense that you first define the first term of your sequence, and then if I give you any term of a sequence, let's see how to define the next term. So just like induction, but here, except we're constructing something instead of proving something. So here's now the proof. Here's what we want to do. Go. We would like to construct uh, a sequence, a subsequence R and K such that the sequence becomes closer and closer to A, a in this way, such that R and K minus A is less than 1 over k for all k. So in other words, let's say in the first step, we want rn1 to be of a distance at most 1, and then in the second case, in the second step, we want rn2 to be a distance at most 1 half from a. In the third case, we want rn3 to be at most one third away, etc., etc., and notice this is in fact slowly converging. And by the way, once we have shown that, then by the squeeze theorem, we actually get that R and K converges to A, because this goes to zero as K goes to infinity. Okay, and again, we want to do an inductive argument, meaning let's define R and one first. So, uh, step one. So find Rn1 with uh, Rn1 minus A is less than 1, but this is just equivalent to saying Rn1 minus A is between 1 and minus 1. So in other words, Rn1 is between A minus 1 and A plus 1. And A minus 1. But this is not very hard to find because consider the interval a minus 1, a plus 1. So this interval here. And essentially all that we want, we want some rational number in between a minus 1 and a plus 1. But remember the rational numbers are dense in the real numbers. So between those two real numbers, for sure there's a rational number. So since Q is dense in R, in R there is, is R rational with R between A minus 1 and A plus 1. But look, remember, every rational number is of the form Rn for some n, because remember, the train goes through every rational city. 
And in particular, uh, because it's some term of the sequence, let's just define our first subsequence term, our first express stop, to be that R. So let R and K, uh, so let R and 1, so the first stop of your express train, be that R, where R is defined like here. And then what do we have? Well, we have R and 1 is between a minus 1 and a plus 1, and just like before, that implies Rn1 minus a is less than 1. So we stepped our foot in the first step already. So that's very good. But now comes a more interesting part, which is the inductive part. So step 2, again, kind of like the inductive step. So suppose we found our first k terms. So we found r and 1, r and 2, dot dot dot, and r and k with that satisfy our problem. So r and 1 minus a is less than 1, r and 2 minus a is less than 1 half, dot dot dot, up to r and k minus a is less than 1 over k. And what we want to do, we want to find the next step. So go, we want to find um, r and k plus 1 with r and k plus 1 minus a is less than 1 over k plus 1. So just as before, consider the interval a minus this 1 over k plus 1 and a plus 1 over k plus 1. So in other words, we want to consider the following interval. So this thing, so a minus 1 over k plus 1 and a plus 1 over k plus 1. So a very small interval, I think of length 2 over k plus 1. And here's the thing, so this is a little bit subtle, but of course you would like to um, adapt the previous argument by just saying, well, because the rational numbers are dense in the real numbers, we know there has to be at least one value r between those two real numbers. But, and of course you could also just declare r and k plus 1 to be that number. But here's the problem. And let me give you an analogy. Example, suppose um, nk is, or in this case, suppose, yeah, uh, r and k is, let's say, r of 20. Here's the thing. So, strictly speaking, we're just guaranteed to find some nk plus 1 such that r and k plus 1 is between those two numbers. Nothing guarantees that this next stop has to be bigger than 20. Mathematically, it could be that this element is r of 19, for instance. So this proof might give uh, r and k plus 1 equals r of 19 which is a problem because remember, we want the next express stop to be after the current express stop. So we actually have to work a little bit harder in order to guarantee that in fact, nk plus one is bigger than nk. That the new stop really comes after the previous stop. Okay. And again, we want, we really want nk plus 1 to be bigger than nk. That's the uh, definition of a subsequence, if you remember from the previous video. Now, um, so we do have to work a bit harder, but that's not a huge problem, because again, consider a minus 1 over k plus 1 and a plus 1 over k plus 1. Now look up to nk, up to the kth express stop, there are only finitely many stops. The first stop, the second stop, etc. up to the 
fastest decayed express stop. But look, there's not only one rational number between those two numbers. There are actually infinitely many of them. So you can actually choose one that is completely new. That's after even the last express stop. So after the cave express stop. And that's really how to get around this. So here's really the formal proof then. So since there are infinitely many rational numbers, in the interval a minus 1 over k plus 1 and a plus 1 over k plus 1, but only finitely many, so um, numbers. So in other words, there are only finitely many stops up to nk, so R1, R2, dot, 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 maybe you also have the first express stop, up to the last express stop. Okay. There must be, so again, we have infinitely many rational numbers, but only finitely many stops. Well, there should be a stop that's not in one of those original ones. So there must be, Uh, are some other numbers, so R, let's call it nk plus 1, such that it's in the interval, so R nk plus 1 is in A minus 1 over k plus 1 and A plus 1 over k plus 1, which ultimately gives the stuff that we want, R nk plus 1 minus A is less than 1 over k plus 1. And it's different from all the numbers before. So R n k plus 1 is different from R1, R2, dot, 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 up to R n k. But look, what is happening here? So what am I saying? So we have the cities. R1, again, think of taking the train through some cities, R1, R2, maybe Rn1, up to, let's say, Rnk. And I'm telling you that this Rnk plus 1 is a city that you've never seen before. It's a new city. This new city, since you've never seen it before, it has to be a new stop. And in particular, it has to be after all the stops you've seen before. That's why this nk plus 1 has to come after, so it has to be bigger than the previous express stop. Otherwise, it would have been one of the stops you've seen before. So, hence, nk plus 1 is actually bigger than nk, and which is bigger than all the other values. So, in fact, this guarantees that rnk is a subsequence. So we also have that, and therefore we're done by induction in some sense. Hence, so if we're on step three, so we've defined, again, given rnk, we define the next term, hence for all all k, uh, so hence we found a subsequence R and K with the stuff that we want. R and K minus A is less than 1 over K for all K. And since, you know, the, the, the rest is just by the squeeze theorem. So since 1 over K goes to 0 by the squeeze theorem, we have R and K uh, goes to A as k goes to infinity, and therefore we are done.